Hello guys, welcome back to yet another in-depth review and in this video we'll do review of Oxygen OS 13, Open Beta 2 for OnePlus 9, 9 Pro and OnePlus 9 RT. So I have used these two devices for almost a week individually and in this video we'll talk about everything like what all bugs I have faced, battery backup, performance part and we'll also show you a few samples of camera. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see we have two phones towards the left hand side, this is our OnePlus 9 and towards the right hand side, this is our OnePlus 9 RT. Both of them are running on the latest open beta which is based on Oxygen OS 13 and as I told you guys, I did use these two phones for almost 5 to 6 days individually. With no doubt I can say, builds are quite stable. There are very minor issues here and there but if you guys are facing some major issues i would always recommend to perform a factory reset from recovery always whenever there is an android version change and now before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they do watch our videos so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video now talking about the first issue i think you guys also must have not observed this in your day-to-day -day usage and that's related to font so for example here you can see we have similar font on both these phones and if i change the font observe closely the font in the status bar doesn't change and i know most of you guys must have not observed it but during my testing i noticed there are no changes in the status bar font if we are changing the font of the entire system so i don't know this is a bug or this is how it meant to be on oxygen os 13 not sure in future we'll get to see the changes in the fonts of status bar but let us know how many of you guys got to know after watching this video and the second issue is related to the oneplus red cable club so here you can see if i go to settings page if i try to log in here using my oneplus account i'm not able to log in I'm not sure whether OnePlus is discontinuing the support of Red Cable Club because I am a premium member and if I talk about my other phones on which I had already logged in, there I am still logged in but if I see here on these two phones I am not able to log in. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 8 on which I am already logged in but I don't want to log it out right now because there are few things which I need to test out here also. On OnePlus 9, 9 Pro and 9 RT this is the issue what I am facing. And along with this issue another issue is related to the OnePlus health application. So let me open up the OnePlus health application. So here I have installed on this device and it's the same thing on this device also. Let me install on this too. So here you can see this is how it appears on my OnePlus 9 if I've installed and I think it will be the same case on OnePlus 9 RT also. I'll just allow all the necessary permissions and there you go. It's the same case on both these phones. Actually, it's not the issue of the builds which are running on 9 Pro or 9 RT. This was the case with other smartphones also. So here on my OnePlus 8, what I did is I just logged out the OnePlus account for once and then installed OnePlus health application. And from here, I used my Google account to log into OnePlus health application and later this OnePlus account automatically got added. So as I told you guys, there are some changes we might gonna see in upcoming days related to OnePlus Red Cable Club or official OnePlus accounts. Not sure exactly, but that's what I feel. Another issue is related to the background management or you can say RAM management and RAM management is not at all good on these two builds. I have personally tested out if I try to open any application in the background which has been running from a long time that application mostly reloads. And here another issue you can see related to PIP mode. This is how it appears sometimes and I'm not blaming here OnePlus because most of the issues nowadays we are seeing from the Google and those are related to specific Google applications. So if I open an application for example let's open up WhatsApp so this is how I left it on OnePlus 9 and if I tap on it it completely reloads and the same case is on OnePlus 9 RT I feel RAM management isn't that great because OnePlus have said that they have improved the battery life so there are possibilities that OnePlus might have restricted the background management to improve battery life. And next thing which I observed after updating to Oxygen OS 13 Open Beta 2, I'm not sure whether this was the same case on Open Beta 1 and that's the ability to 
tap on the brightness slider anywhere so now you cannot tap on the brightness slider anywhere to increase or decrease the brightness because as far as i remember on previous build once i just tapped on the brightness slider to decrease the brightness but not sure if you guys are running open beta 1 then do let me know in the comment section below and most users ask me about these wallet services or you can say wallet tile which is present in the quick setting tiles and guys even i wasn't able to activate this so if someone is aware about how to activate this feature then do let me know in the comment section below another weird issue is related to bluetooth so let's open up bluetooth settings and here if you see the icons of the bluetooth devices these icon padding is not good i'm not sure if you guys are able to see but if you take a look at the icons present here under available devices you can see the padding is not that good because there should be a circular thing in which we should have this outline of bluetooth icon and you can see due to that circular thing the outline do gets cropped so i'll just zoom in and show you guys and you guys also try to check out on your device and let me know in the comment section below another thing which i have noticed on oneplus any of the oneplus devices and that's related to the power saving mode so whenever i enable power saving mode on any of my oneplus smartphones and that's happening after the update of oxygen os 12 so this is not particularly related to the second build of oxygen os 13 i find the device bit laggy and the animations are not smooth i know the device switches to 60 fps but i have used other smartphones of oneplus with 60 fps i never saw such jitters while using the device you must have seen devices with 60 hertz they do have better animation with that 60 hertz only and the next issue most of the time which i have faced on oneplus 9 and that's related to notification so if any notification appears from applications like whatsapp or telegram i don't have the ability to swipe or clear the notification if i have replied from the notification panel itself and this do happen most of the time after that talking about the pip stuff so let's open up a video so here is the video i'll just play this video and you guys will have an idea about the pip stuff so if i swipe on the home screen you'll see the different corners initially while swiping but later these corner become sharper initially these were having the circular shape so let me show you once again and there you can see just after few seconds i think it's an issue with youtube application so i'm not complaining about it but this is what which again looks quite bad on premium smartphones so guys these were some of the issues which i have encountered during my usage and now talking about the camera i have also clicked some pictures and most users also have been complaining about the shaky videos or jittery videos while recording in 4k at 60 fps but here you can see on the screen these two videos were recorded with 4k at 60 fps and in my yesterday's stream i have shown on none of my devices oneplus 9 pro or oneplus 9 rt i get to see any jitters while recording 4k at 60 fps for me this thing is fine on open beta 2 and here are some of the samples which i clicked using oneplus 9 and oneplus 9 rt both the devices are doing decent i don't find any kind of issues but i did notice oneplus 9 rt performing really good compared to oneplus 9 minor ot updates doesn't change the camera quality and i don't feel any kind of major improvements in the camera quality compared to the android 12 builds so in future whenever we have any major camera upgrade or any camera improvements i'll keep you guys posted about the same thing and now let's talk about the battery backup so here are the battery cycles of oneplus plus 9 and one plus 9 rt so i don't have any complaints related to the battery backup according to my usage i don't see any additional app draining extra battery on both my phones i've been getting four hours plus screen on time which is good enough for me and the overnight battery drain is also not that bad i've been experiencing around five to six percent of battery drain overnight charging speed is similar on one plus nine compared to the first build on one plus nine rt also device takes the same exact time which it was taking on the previous build so here you can see i started charging my device at 9 20 and exactly at 9 55 my device was fully charged so when it comes to the battery part as i told you guys i don't have any kind of complaints because battery backup depends on tons of factor and mostly every individual have a different battery backup and now talking about the performance part in day-to-day -day usage i don't find any kind of issues on any of my oneplus smartphone running oxygen os 13 but particularly when it comes to battlegrounds mobile india though you guys must be aware that oneplus 9 rt doesn't have the support of 90 fps in game but oneplus 9 do have the support of 90 fps in the game settings or you can say the graphic settings 
but none of the device delivers 90 fps most of the time device do maintain above 50 fps but soon device gets to heated up we have observed a lot of frame drops and i'm not sure this is because of the new technology what they have introduced which is hyper boost 4.0 and we just have to wait and watch when oneplus gonna improve the gaming performance i personally don't have any kind of hopes related to the battlegrounds mobile india and i should start testing different games which you guys will see in upcoming videos but as i told you when it comes to games like like battlegrounds mobile india you'll notice a lot of frame drops so when it comes to gaming oneplus needs to improve a lot of things so guys this was an in-depth review of oxygen os 13 open beta 2 for oneplus 9 9 pro and oneplus 9 rt if you still have any kind of questions you guys can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day